Hi Scorpio, welcome to your uh, January 2021 Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button if you are already a continued subby. You know I love you for it. So happy bloody new year to ya. I truly hope you have an amazing 2021. If you haven't seen your Life Path 2021 reading, you can do so on the link in the description box below and if you haven't seen your uh, 2021 taroscope for Scorpio you can do that on the link in the description box below. Before we start as always I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's see what 2021 January has in store for you, for your actions and interactions with the world at large. You have the devil card, right? So, and this is about what you do. So in a lot of ways, this is gonna see you being very, very, um, almost like obsessed. Like there's something specific that you have in mind that you are going for. And it's almost like there's an addiction within you. Like maybe you're addicted to something or an outcome or a specific success. This could be a Capricorn person that features for you. It could be something to do with your career. It could be something that you are refusing to let go of. Like, or you know, and I, usually I would say that this is something that's refusing to let go of you, but this is in your actions and options and it's the devil card. So what this talks about <clears throat> is your ability to be single-minded, to be single-focused in something and to just not let go until you get the result that you want. Now, in a lot of ways, you know, that can be some of the positive attributes of the devil card. So the fact that you've got this is your actions and interactions. It's about what you do. And in a lot of ways, this is about you pursuing something with single-minded focus, uh, you know, which is something that you guys are known for anyway. But I think this month, there's going to be that ability to really take it up a notch, which isn't a bad thing, but just, you know, be, be aware. For your money and materials, you have the Eight of Cups. So um, this coupled with the Devil card, what is it that you are prepared to let go of on a financial level? Uh, maybe there is a debt that you have that you want to clear. Maybe there is... Um, uh, maybe there's something like maybe there's like a subscription that you pay for that you're you're like you know what it's just not something that I want to do anymore something that I want to be a part of maybe this is a hobby that you have that you um, you know or a club that you're a part of there's something this month when it comes to your finances that you're saying that money can be better used elsewhere and you're kind of it's almost like you're taking funds out of one thing to put it into another but it's all about what's going to serve you best going forward now when it comes to your physical health and vitality this is going to be all about your feet your ankles and your um yeah, I wanna say your feet, your ankles, and you know, just generally that kind of area. So be aware of that this week, uh, this week, this month. Um, when it comes to your home and environment, I'm gonna be really honest with you, Scorpio. It looks like you're spending more time out of home than you're actually spending in it. So, you know, and I mean, that might be a way to rack up extra expenses as well. So just, just be aware this month, you know, you got, there's a, a lot of moving parts, as they say for your communications and conversations you have the nine of cups when it comes to your work there are some really good news here uh your nine of cups this is wish fulfillment maybe there's something that you asked so for communications in general this is a great month you've got the eight of cups and the nine of cups which i'll talk about in just a second but this really i mean for me this really suggests that there's good news coming in from from or on the work front this may be something or someone at a distance to you that gets in touch to say look you know what there's this coming up do you want to be a part of it and you know this is it's great news and it looks like something that you've wanted for a long time so maybe something's completing maybe something's culminating and you're moving into a really good space with it now you're uh, for those of you that are employed great news coming in you know for some of you this could be a promotion for some of you it could be a pay rise for some of you it could just be a recognition when it comes to your uh, for those of you that work for yourselves or your solopreneurs entrepreneurs this is great again because this is some sort of um 
I don't want to say reward, it's more something that you've really wanted or needed for a long time. For some of you, it might even just be a new piece of kit or a new piece of tech. Um, and then for those of you that are retired or no longer work, this is really nice because you're going to find, it's almost like you're going to find a way to address the imbalance of not having work. You're going to find something to fill that space that makes you feel like, yeah, you know what, this is now a new worthy pursuit of mine, uh, which I really like. And what do I talk about when you see a run of cards like this? eight, nine, 10, you know, or six, seven, eight. When you see runs of cards, I always believe that that's masculine energy coming through on the spiritual plane. So whoever the guys are, or the males that you've had pass over, uh, look out, maybe they're trying to get a message to you. For your uh, heart and half, you have the magician card, right? So for those of you that are single, you'll be meeting somebody that is like a mover and a shaker, maybe, because this is right next to your nine of cups. Maybe you've been asking, you know, send me somebody nice, send me somebody that's single, send me somebody that can be devoted and loyal. And boom, this month you meet somebody. Now it's just the meeting, right? It's just that potential is there, but it's definitely there, as is the chemistry with these cards anyway. For those of you that are partnered or in relationships, this is good news for your partner. Your partner could be getting um, a promotion. They could be getting a pay rise of some sort. Um, now I will say this may in the long run just in the long run, present you with either an opportunity or a dilemma to move. Um, but I don't feel like that's gonna be any time soon. I think it's gonna be quite a while from now. So just something for you to be aware of, but very, very cool. Uh, for your weeks of the month, you have... The Empress coupled with the Devil card. So, little bit of overindulgence still taking place here in the first week. Uh, you know, everybody's got a vice or two. Uh, mine is, one of mine is definitely sugar. Um, so, you know, maybe you're polishing off the last of the Christmas chocolate or whatever. Just be aware of that. Now, the other thing is as well, if you have ideas that you're working on or you're focusing on, there's nothing here that says not to do that. Just remember that there are other parts of your life that require your time, your focus and your input. You know, not all of your goals should focus just on your professional life. You need something a bit more broad as well. Uh, for your second week of the month, you have the strength card right underneath the Eight of Cups. And that's interesting because the Eight of Cups uh, is, as the strength card is also number eight. So you've got two eights here. Two eights in the tower represent new knowledge. So when it comes to your, um, when it comes to your money and your finances, there could be new info that comes in that helps you make some sort of financial decision and say, right, okay, that money is I've got it, it's available to me, but I need to use it for something else now. So, you know, just consider that. And it might be something that you're actually more into as well. For your third week of the month, you have the Devil card. So the Devil card rules your, your month this month, and you've got a lot of that sort of um, maybe obsessive, addictive kind of energy is kind of lingering about. And if that is the case, you just need to ask yourself, okay, where is this coming from? You know, it's there, if it's presenting itself, it means that it's coming from somewhere. So it's just about asking yourself where, you know, where is it coming from? And then finally, you have the Emperor card underneath the Magician. I mean, for those of you that are single, there's definitely something is heating up and cooking in your, uh, kitchen <laughs> let's say for those of you that are already partnered especially those of you that are married this suggests that you'll be learning something together or working on something together which is really nice but all in all your relationship is going really well and i definitely see for those of you that are partnered or and especially married because the emperor has that kind of connotation to it uh, to you know to do with marriage and partnership um it suggests that your partner is gonna give you some really good news about their work, about their finances, etc. Really great stuff. And for your key to the week, uh, the month even, you have the Four of Pentacles. So you're very focused on your money, your finances, your resources. It's also gonna see you streamlining those things and it might see you, um, 
yeah, try not to get, uh, what's the word? Try not to get rigid when it comes to money, all right? Like, remember it's the four of pentacles and what I always say about the number four, it can be the step that takes you to the next level or it can be the box that holds you in prison and it really is up to you. So just be aware of that this week. You find, This week, this month, find a way to do what you do best, which is be fluid with the energy that surrounds you. All right, so with that, and there's a lot of earth here as well, actually. I mean, there's a lot of water here as well. Um, but luckily, you actually know there's a, a good balance of elements. You've got the earth, you've got the water, you've got the cups, which is good. You've even got the magician, which is the air. So, yeah, all in all, this could be a great month for you. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic month. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care, and I'll see you soon.